voice come to life, and it, I, we don't know how the Tickle Me Elmo's really feel, you know, in their, in their off hours. Um, I have a lot of close male friendships. Some people say they border on being homoerotic, and to that I say I guess. I guess you're pretty homo-observant. <laughs> Uh, I've, been, I've been trying to quit weed for the longest time because it makes me clumsy and forgetful. But I just have so much lying around. Because <laughs> I, I drop it everywhere. <laughs> um, no, I'm, 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 four, I'm four weeks sober now from everything. And I, I, I feel great. Hey. You know? Um, I didn't know I had so much self-compassion inside. I always thought, oh, if I sober up, I'm gonna just spend the rest of my days hating myself for the shit I do drunk. But no, you just gotta, you, life finds a way. And I'll tell you, uh, I once like donated blood and then I went down to the river with my friends and then we all got drunk after I had donated blood and then we tried crossing the American River. And it was like, it was like my body and my mind were both like pointing fingers at each other like you, you got us into this, and it was awful. And I, I was like, shit, this is, this is my life right now. This is my life, because I could drown, but also it's a metaphor for the way my life feels, you know? And the rock, rock, rock bottom is, is uh, you know, a cup of whiskey. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hell. And no one ever talks about rock middle, you know? Purgatory? You guys know what purgatory tastes like? It's half Sprite, half coconut water. It's awful. It's like more water than water somehow. Don't ever try that. Uh, uh, did you guys hear about the new anti-abortion law that just got passed? When, it, it, when, when you're pregnant with a fetus, instead of terminating the pregnancy, you're now forced to drive the fetus out to open mic and, and you have to watch it perform your heartbeat pretty much plagiarized and pass it off as an original composition and everyone just loves it and you're like, fuck you my uterus is responsible for your whole sound <laughs> um, yeah I'm not, I'm, I'm not a fan of green energy like Everyone's like, oh, support green energy. No, whether it's a lightsaber or a sorcerer's lightning, green energy is always used to hurt people, in my experience. <laughs> I believe uh, carpool lanes are a far left radical movement. <laughs> it's Pride Month, guys. Give it up for Pride Month. You, got, you, you, all, you all need to. You need, you need to support your LGBT community, because I tell you what, these are living, breathing, everyday people with living, breathing, everyday needs. And they're not all just a bunch of, you know, San Francisco stereotypes. They can't all parallel park perfectly. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta help them out, <laughs> if you can. Um, gosh, what else? No, addiction's awful. It's, it, 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 it fragments you. I knew a guy who was addicted to sushi, and he, uh, he just couldn't get enough sushi, and he went a little too far. Uh, you, you know fugu? Like bl blowfish or pufferfish? If it's, not, if it's not prepared properly, there's a neurotoxin, because it's, it's a poisonous fish, and it can really fry your brain, and that's what it did. He ate fugu, and it fried his brain, and now he's so temperamental. You guys like uh, grammar? Yeah. You know, you know, you know, you know to whom? Well, who to whom? That's just like free for the taking, right? <laughs> um. Yeah. No. If I, I had a medical marijuana card for a while, and um, it's a great way to have like a medically sanctioned reason to eat too much Taco Bell all the time. 
I had, a, I had a dream the other night that I was a a homeless guy who thought that he was like a cartoon talking dog that needed to warn kids about drugs, but like it never came up because he always had to like take care of his needs. <laughs> and so for the whole dream, I was just having regular conversations with people and like trying to like get to where I needed to get. And then like afterwards I'd be like, oh fuck, I'm a cartoon talking dog in my mind. I need to tell these kids about, about drugs and strangers. <laughs> fuck. Uh, what else, man? Yeah, I really, I really, I really, I really appreciate all the acoustic instrumentalists out here playing their physical instruments. It's like, I, I can't do it. I don't get it, but I respect it, right? Because um, that, that is, that is a skill set that comes at the tail end of the tail end, or it's, it comes after having done like a bunch of hard work and dedication and practice, practice, practice. And, you know, I knew this kid in, in, in high school and he would practice every day until his fingers bled. And we were like, hey, Kenneth, you having a little trouble with that clarinet there? Uh, do I have any other jokes? Not really, I guess. Um, yeah. Have a good night. Thank <laughs> you.